Okay, let's see what's going on. Looks like we got sound. I'm paying attention to that. Um, yeah, uh, hate to say I told you so, but this is why we follow rules. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we think. No one wants silver to go down, but it did. I got my ZSL order filled at just above 1250, and it's right about 1350 now, so I'm up a buck. But I've lost two dollars going short so far, so I've only made one of those dollars back. Uh, hopefully, I'll make the other dollar back, and I'll have a actual a bigger profit for the year. But uh, yeah, um, the, the SLV chart was looking it was looking bad. Low low probability of rising higher, about 80% chance of going lower. That's what it did. We're down below the 100-day moving average now. But uh, back when it broke through 11.50, I predicted it would go to 15 and then come back down and test 1150 because once you have uh, resistance and you break through that resistance then uh, at some point in the future it may come down to test that resistance again and and, and confirm that it's now support so I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, SLV fall another 50 cents to 1150 and then if it can find some support there uh, we get another buy signal and you can start to build a position then but uh, for right now uh, yeah, there's. I, I I don't see why it would go below 11.50 when uh, it it took it spent a lot of time at 11.50 already, and um, it's way oversold. So maybe it'll go lower. Maybe it won't. Um, gold too. Gold kind of broke its uptrend too. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, well, gold just pulled back to its 100-day moving average, just a little bit above that. Pretty good volume. So everybody's feeling better about the market. But this is the time. Uh, you know, when you start to get a buy signal when the fear comes back in, and the fear will be back because we all know the market's a sham. The stock market is a sham. So, oh yeah, the market's down a little bit now. Yeah, the market's starting to move kind of sideways, looking like it's finding resistance again. So, yeah, we'll have another opportunity to buy and uh, go long silver here pretty soon. Um, yeah, uh, if you if you if you bought the ZSL, set a stop loss at 12 bucks. Because uh, if you bring up ZSL while you're watching this video, you can see that the uh, if you're filled at 12.50, you then want to set uh, a stop loss at the lowest low of the previous three days, uh, which oh actually it's 11.50. I told somebody it was 12. So if you're watching this and I said set your stop loss at 12, it should be 11.50. Uh, tomorrow you can raise it to 12. Um, that's just the rules how, how they go. In fact, you could just, if you already did the order at 12, just leave it at 12 because um, as soon as uh, the market opens tomorrow, uh, the stop loss will be at 12 anyway. So, um, And then I think two days later, if, if ZSL moves higher because silver was coming down, then you'd move your stop loss to 1250 and lock in that, lock in a break even at least. Um, and uh, I think if, if silver drops down to 1150, uh, you might be able to take take your profit from ZSL before it falls back down, because uh, ZSL should be a trade. You don't necessarily want to wait until your stop loss order is filled, because I was filled at 1250 and I'm not going for a break even. I'm going to make some money. So if silver falls back to 1150, I might want to take you know half my profit or even all my profit at that point. Um, I'm, I'm making adjustments to the strategy as I go because I realize that. Uh, um, the basic strategy is really just for beginners who don't know the trading uh, nuances and since I do I kinda misinterpreted the, the system as being more advanced than what I knew and it isn't so there'll be lots of taking some profits off the table and uh, and, and buying and, and building positions as you go like if it drops to 11.50 you probably want to buy a little bit of you know, get out of you take some profit from the ZSL and, and, and use that to buy a little bit of, uh, of the silver start building a long position and then when it finally turns around you can get out of ZSL and put that put that money back into the SLV so there'll be lots of that um, but I was right silver pulled back <laughs> that's why uh, you gotta go with the probability laws of probability and, and you can't see that on the on the chart you have to do that in your head when you're looking at the chart so ZSL looks pretty good right now but the uh, 45 day moving average is right at 14 so um, if it goes up above 14 bucks, I would take. Uh, you might want to even just uh, sell, sell the ZSL at that point and take a profit. So I might do that too, but I, I wouldn't put an order in to sell at that point. Just set your stop loss. So if something happens and silver blows up, you you can be covered. So 
Okay, and just because you set your stop loss at 12 doesn't mean you're going to get filled there. Um, if, if, if something happens in silver skyrockets to the, you know, skyrockets, uh, it could gap down to nine, eight bucks. It could gap down to five bucks, and you could lose a lot of money if it gaps that way. So just because you have a stop loss doesn't mean you're going to get filled at that price, so you got to understand that. Very important. Uh, but the stop loss, you know, most of the time it's going to be fine, which is why you don't put all your money in. And it's also why you don't you don't put money in that you can't afford to lose because anything can happen. Uh, silver skyrocket. That's why you want to own physical silver too, because if silver moves against you on the ZSL, at least you're making that money back on the physical. So uh, if you if you're trading trading the SLV and you don't own any physical, um, I'd take at least half that money out and buy some physical or buy some physical soon with the with your money so you can have have some physical to cover cover yourself. Um, that should do it for today. Oh, I said I was going to start covering gasoline. I, I added to my gasoline position yesterday. Uh, it's down a little bit, but it's down on very... It was the heaviest volume ever on the UGA yesterday. Supply and demand looked pretty good. They're kind of flat, and the uh, relative strength is above 50. Had huge volume yesterday, so that should say something. It was. It's down today, but on very, very light volume. Uh, of course, the day's not over yet, but... So it looks like this might be being accumulated which means it's being purchased slowly by big money so they might be trying to tell us something here but man I hate adding to a position and then having it go down the next day uh, food DBA DBA yeah DBA's kind of come, made a comeback a little bit but not something to buy yet I'm surprised that food uh, supply and demand looks I'm surprised that food uh, hasn't food inflation hasn't caused these grain prices. I know the inventories are real low, so uh, there should be a squeeze on supply and demand here pretty soon. See, oil, gasoline, I don't trade oil because I don't like the ETF of oil. I, gasoline outperforms oil anyway, so we've got gas, food, let's look at water. Yeah, water's the same as food, it's just kind of kind of moving with the market actually, so it hasn't really established itself, so I don't want to be in that yet. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, yep, AUY is pulling back. Um, I mean, I enjoy being correct, but I'd rather be right on it going up than it going down, right? But uh, yeah, it's falling through and it's, it's holding through on heavier volume. Looks like silver. Uh, right, well, let's look at 11.50. If it breaks below 11.50, I don't know what the hell's going on. But if it gets down to nine bucks again. I'm not going to be stupid. I'm going to load up on on the silver. I'm going to put everything into silver if it goes down to nine bucks again. But uh, I seriously don't expect that to happen with all the the shortages going on. And, you know, J.P. Morgan, they're just you're just putting those shorts out. That's the banks are doing this. Uh, silver should be about 66 bucks right now if it was 15 to one on, on on gold, something like that, somewhere around that price. So when you pull it out of the ground and there's even less silver than gold now because it's being used up so this price is absolutely ridiculous anyway that's my rant and uh... just uh... let me know any questions you have alright